Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar today with Barris. Presenting today, we have William Llewellyn and Paul Layton. So a huge thank you to them for being here. And with that, I will hand things over to you, William. Thanks, Allie. Good morning and good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you. I'm William Llewellyn. I head our channel development team at Veris. And I'm also joined today by Paul Layton, one of our senior solution architects, who's been in the dynamics industry for over 20 years in multiple roles. He'll be helping us walk through the actual product and sharing with you the capabilities and benefits from a product perspective. Good afternoon. All right. So today we want to kind of do a basic setup, right? I know the guys of this is cool tools and we, we obviously believe we have one. We think this is going to be relevant to virtually all customers because what we're trying to do is solve a common problem. And we'll talk about that in a second. We're going to look, give you a little bit of information about who we are as a company, why we exist. Then we're going to show you what the product is. The product will be both a combination of what's happening in, um, in our platform, but more importantly is the, is the integration of, of our product with Business Central. We'll also have some time for, for Q&A at the end. It's interesting, right? The, the last couple of years have presented a number of business challenges, especially over the last year. The addition to this of inflation and significant macroeconomic pressure, they, so what some people would say is a recession or one that's coming very soon, Right. This is what we hear for, for folks, right? So everyone's gone kind of gone through a supply chain reimagining and reorchestration over the last few years. Cost pressures and profitability pressures are even more important. I know this extends kind of to businesses of all sizes, but there's also been a lot of companies who have raised money and been very successful over the last few years on ideas and pipe dreams. They're now actually having to make money as well. So this kind of really extends to everybody. And even more so as people are, you know, capital is very smart, right? And so investors are looking for companies to have great compliance and controls. And we believe that we have a value prop that extends to address all of these components because we're not asking customers to do things that they're not doing today. We have a way to bring value to you based on spend that you already have in your own business. We realize not everybody has pyramid professionals within the side of their company, but everybody buys products and services to run their business. If you think of everything below the gross margin line on your P&L, what level of spend do you have? Now, research says up to 30%. I think this average is probably closer to 18 to 20%. It can be lower. But the point of this is a significant amount of re revenue is being spent on a monthly basis for office supplies, IT, janitorial and sanatorial products, office furniture, the massive one is, is ink and toner. So things that you need to run the business, right? So there's a significant amount of, of, of portion, uh, portion of spend. And it's a very disconnected world. Now, very, very large companies tend to have procurement departments. They, have, they pay for professional staff who can negotiate and manage relationships. But that, is, that, that doesn't extend to a lot of people. Most customers, and we believe especially customers in the business central space, may have partial headcount who do that but it's very time consuming. And because of processes and complexity in the systems that are out there, right? These systems don't tend to return an investment back to the business. I'm not gonna drain this slide, but I think it's representational of a journey. And the scenario here is, is really, if you think about onboarding a new employee, right? There's a, there's a list of, of things that every company needs to do. Some of those are HR related, but especially in the area of remote work, person needs a computer to work on, they need a home office setup, they need all of these things. What we find is that these processes are extremely manual. Uh, we know a lot of customers do pass things through chat, write them down, tape them on people's cubicles or walls. So you have it in email, you have it in chat, you have it in phone calls. This is a highly, highly inefficient process. Nobody wants to spend a lot of time doing this, but they have to do this. So these processes basically waste a lot of time. Time is money. I haven't even gotten to talk about whether the spend is within budget, right? So this tends to be on a credit card or someone running out to a store and buying something and put it on an expense report. So there's no view ahead of time of what, uh, if there's budget for this and if it's approved to be purchased. And so basically most people involved with the process kind of hate it for all of the above. It seems just so much harder than it needs to be. So we roll out a product, the company's name is Veris, and we have a connector and an extension to Business Central. So what we're providing is a procure to pay solution. Veris for Business Central has been in market for about one quarter. 
Our technology is rooted in a, a platform that's been sold to global brands for over the last eight years. We're doing the procure to pay solution, right? So you get an e-commerce experience that's kind of shown here on the right. And Paul will demonstrate that in a moment, but it's what you would expect. How can I find the things that I need multiple ways to do that? How can I see what it's going to cost me and how do I kind of get it going? The big difference that is really going to be around. It's not just suppliers and products. What a lot of people complain about e-commerce experiences and marketplaces is that there's so many products. There's so many vendors who provide the same product. It can be extremely difficult to find out, you know, should I trust the supplier? So we actually do selective supplier onboarding, right? So we're, we're making sure that the top supplies and products that are needed by companies are represented by high quality suppliers. And we do all of the supplier management. When you come here, you know that these are trusted suppliers. Secondly, we do all the negotiations. So we basically buy on behalf of our customers and we bring those savings to the platform. The product doesn't need a long implementation. I wouldn't even call it that. It's really a, a setup, right? So we use the assisted setup process to install the application from AppSource. Going from permissions to configuration to shopping is under an hour. And so the time to value can be very, very, very quick. What your, your employees will get is the easy to use shopping experience that they're used to. What you're getting on the, uh, on the back end is all of the approval workflows, budgetary authority and approvals that happen in Business Central. It's built for custom integration with Business Central. It's based on technology, the root of which is used by several Fortune 50 companies. With that, I want to hand it over to Paul to kind of, now that I've talked about this, to show you what it all looks like and how it works. Very good, William. Thank you much uh, for that great presentation. We're going to start our demo in Business Central. Veris, uh, the Veris procurement product here is a, a launch from inside of Business Central. You have to have at least a team member license to launch the product. When I come in to Business Central, I get all my great menu options. And across on the links, I actually have the Veris platform that I can launch directly from inside of that uh, location. Uh, now that I have this launched, here is the uh, Veris platform. It gives me a way to do my shopping uh, that I need to do all in one location. Now, we've got multiple suppliers here in this environment. We've got major suppliers for multiple items that you might expect and, and need to purchase. And, and that list of suppliers continues to grow. As we work with the suppliers, vet them to bring them on to the platform. One of the most important things we found being a procurement company is that in order for procurement processes to work properly, this needs to be the easiest and most effective way for your employees to purchase the things they need to purchase. And with Veris, we believe that we have developed an e-commerce solution that allows your users that same intuitive shopping that they might find in their own home environments. Now, one of the things that we try to push for is very effective shopping, quick and easy. Now, I'm logged in here as myself, and, and let's say that I am the director of facility. Maybe I've got a small office that I'm a director of. And one of my responsibilities is the break room. And somebody calls in their break room and says, hey, you need coffee supplies. Could you please go and get some? Well, I can come in the product and I can come in and search for things like K-cups and go through the list of available items that are in the system and begin to, to do my selections, just like you would on the big A or any other uh, e-commerce site. And I can come in and find what I'm looking for and add it to the cart. And that's all well and good, but you know, that's gonna take time. And time is sometimes a, a very precious commodity and it's always a precious commodity and something that we can replace. So if I'm going to purchase coffee supplies over and over again, why don't I go ahead and build myself a preferred list of coffee supplies within the product? I build this list once, and then every time that I need coffee supplies, I can come in and add this to the cart automatically. 
The Veris platform here, the marketplace is what we like to call it. The marketplace will then add this to the cart and it will validate whether these items are in stock and out of stock. So here my wood coffee stir sticks are out of stock. So now I can make a decision whether it's important to go out and purchase that one item or replace that one item with a search. But if I, I've got plenty of stir sticks down there and I can wait for that to come back in stock, I can go ahead and move right to the checkout. Verify a couple of quick items on the checkout and send this on its way to Office Depot for fulfillment. You know, all these are Office Depot items. They're all being delivered to my West Warehouse. I've got my correct uh, shopping or P card in there. So I'll go ahead and submit this request. Because I am below my approval limit of $500, this will go ahead and create a purchase order for me automatically. And now those items will be on their way to our break room without any further work from me. Now let's suppose I do need some other items that are maybe bigger and I wanna do some shopping. Maybe I wanna shop for a refrigerator. I can come in and search using keyword searches like refrigerator or break room refrigerator, pull up a list of items within our marketplace that are available for the break room. So I've got some very small refrigerators here, and maybe I want something a little bit bigger. Maybe we decided that we want something residential size for the break room. I can come in and filter by size, and now I see items that are more residential size that I can purchase for the break room. And here I've got an LG refrigerator freezer. That looks like it's going to be perfect for what we want, it even has ice in the door. I'll go ahead and add that to the cart. And now that's become a part of my shopping list. Of course, this is over and above what I would be able to approve. So when I go in to send that to the checkout, that is going to create a workflow approval and that workflow approval will be in business manager. Now we don't need to, to, uh, to look for really big items all the time. We can find almost anything within the product. Between our multiple suppliers, we've got well over a million and a half SKUs that are available here in the product. So if I want to do searches for SC Johnson products or, or PCs or laptops, all of that will be available here within the marketplace and will be available at prices that are going to result in, in savings for you in your organization. And we are certain that these items will be very helpful in doing the work that you need to do. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to look at the checkout in a little more detail now that we have uh, our item in the shopping cart. The shopping cart, as any other shopping cart would, gives me the ability to modify it so I can add quantities. I can remove an item from a list. I can save it to a recurring list. So like those coffee supplies, as I find something I want to buy over and over, I can create a list of it. I can assign carts to other people. So if this, this refrigerator is being purchased on behalf of a warehouse manager, I could assign this cart to a warehouse manager so they could review it before we actually submit it in for approval into Business Central. But I'm going to go into the checkout. Let's look at some of the additional features that we have uh, in our checkout. First off, I can title this. So uh, let's call this uh, break room refrigerator. So we know what we're purchasing. Uh, I want this shipped to the East Warehouse. That'll be fine. I'm going to deliver it to shipping and receiving, but I really want this to go to the break room. So let's go ahead and make that happen. That will apply the change. Then I come down here and this is Office Depot. And I've got some options here on my supply or shipping. 
Now, right now I'm selecting standard shipping because that's what's available to me. But on some items, I'm gonna have expedited shipping that I can select here in my checkout. So just like any other e-commerce site, we're gonna give you chances to increase the speed of delivery if it's a, an option with the supplier. And we're going to allow you to make sure that it gets delivered to the right location and the right place in those locations. I have once again, the ability to review my line items on my item, where it's gonna be delivered to, what my shipping option is, and I see my total. Once again, we use P-cards here to make this easier and more simplified. These invoices will come in, will fill out or be completed by the P-cards and then the invoices can be written back over into Business Central. And of course, because this is over my uh, allowed shopping expense, this is going to create a workflow within the Business Central product. And of course, the integration to Business Central here is duplicative. In other words, it is integrating everything in Business Central and everything here in Veris. So if I open up my documents, I'll see my transferred carts. I'll see my request, and I can then review those of both the current ones and the past ones to make sure that they have uh, been taken care of. I can see any approvals that I'm responsible for or that I've requested. And of course, I get a list of the purchase orders that have been created from the requisitions that I have created. And that then allows these, uh, these will go through into Business Central. And of course, in Business Central, everything is coming through for us. So let's log in as an approver and take a look at the actual approval process in Business Central. So here I'm logged in as an approver and I come down and I see the request that I have to approve. I open that up. Here is the, that is requested for approval, the amount that's, uh, that's there. I can open this up and, and see details, of course. I can approve, reject, or delegate from here. And of course, approval now will allow this to create a purchase order and that purchase order will be forwarded then over to Office Depot. Everything that we've been doing in the in front of the product is being communicated out to multiple people. So for example, here, I have the uh, requisition of the first one we created, 4911, tells me where it was shipping and that it was created. Uh, and then I've got the other uh, 4912. And when the purchase orders are completed for these, I get that information here as well. So we believe that we have developed a great and simple e-commerce platform for procurement that is integrated tightly into Business Central and allows you to control your expenses before they become expenses uh, and allows your users the easiest way to purchase the things they need. I hope you enjoyed the demo and, and William, back over to you. Thanks, Paul. Uh, as you all saw, right, we're really combining uh, kind of an enterprise piece of software and a consumer-like marketplace experience. Paul didn't go through the setup process, but as I mentioned before, it requires some permissions. It requires uh, the admin to go in and make some selections to add users to user groups. And soup to nuts, completing a transaction is under an hour. Like I said, we've done a lot of the heavy lifting on the back end, both from a technology, but also from a strategic partnerships with our suppliers to bring priority products at great prices into our platform and making sure that we're doing that with suppliers that provide a great end customer experience and also have the ability to deliver 95% of products uh, across and nationally within one to two business days. So we've done a lot of the work here. We're managing the suppliers, we're managing the contract, and our goal here is, is simply to make this as, as, as easy as possible. If you can shop online as a, as a consumer, you can shop online through our marketplace, but we have this integration that really adds all the enterprise capabilities that come along with your decision to look at a and adopt a platform like Business Central. So what does this mean? 
So here's an example. It's a $25 million customer customer rate. If you look at the percentage of uh, addressable indirect spend, this is an estimate. This is going to grow over time. We have a process by going through and looking at, um, it's actually pretty interesting. If you look at purchase categories, they're fairly, uh, it's a fairly fragmented market after you get past like office supplies and IT. But we're currently um, working on building up what that representation is. But you look at the indirect spend, a lot of customers don't know what they spend in this area because they haven't really tracked it. It's in there somewhere, hopefully, uh, but it's buried in expense reports. And if it, even if it's classified correctly, it can be difficult to find. But our range of savings from our suppliers is from high single digits to, to close to 20%. It really depends on the category. Uh, obviously, that has a supply and demand dynamic to it. But we believe, um, you know, using a rule of thumb of about 10% is, is, a, is a fairly safe estimate, right? So for a customer, a customer spending a million dollars a year on these types, we believe we can save them $100,000. Now, our product doesn't cost anything to use. Veris uh, doesn't license our, our, our product for, for traditional licensing fees. We make money through our supplier and partner relationships by bringing products and services to you. And some of you in Business Central, um, you know, you have users, all your licensed users will be able to use this. We have a lot of customers who are looking at, hey, I have a small group of users today, but I have you know, my business, uh, we run, you know, we have 30 individual locations with the office manager at each one of them. We'd love for them to be able to do this. And so a team member license is, a, is, is necessary, but it's also a very cost effective way to be able to do this. And for those of you who are looking at going to Business Central, there are other costs involved, but the ROI here is calculated to, to show like what, you know, even if you, if you look at that savings relative to annual licensing costs, Again, this would be as a net new user. The ROI is still fairly is is still quite tremendous. I mean, right? And that's just a, a blank statement based on the ROI from this one application. Obviously, the TM folks, um, you know, they, they have other applications. They have processes. There's so many different ways to get value out of the platform. We believe we can make one small contribution to that. We do have a few questions here. The first one being, does Veris work on? for the on-prem version of Business Central? Uh, the answer is no. We only work with uh, VC in the cloud, 100% cloud-based. Okay, the second one being, do I need to create relationship with each of the suppliers in the various marketplace? So the answer is, if a supplier does not exist in Business Central, a supplier record will be created once a cart is um, created in Veris and transferred into Business Central. Paul, anything that you would want to add to that? Uh, yeah, one of, one of the benefits that uh, we bring to uh, Business Central from this marketplace is that all of these suppliers are available for you to use, but you don't need to have your own individual contract with those suppliers. Uh, we, we take care of all of that for you. Uh, and even if you have a problem with one of these suppliers, maybe uh, something is purchased and it's not correct or, or you don't like something that, that you do receive, uh, Veris is your point of contact and we take care of that for you uh, with those suppliers. So we are the first level of support uh, for you in your organization. Thanks, Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one being, what types of goods and supplies can I expect to find on your website? Yeah, so uh, let's see, the top five categories are office supplies, IT, ink and toners, huge, uh, obviously. Uh, people still print out a lot of stuff, and as we all know, ink is very expensive. Um, maintenance, repair, and operations. Um, and then you have uh, office furniture, janitorial, sanatorial, safety, and lab equipment. So we, we go through a, a deliberate approach to look at what are, the, uh, what are the top categories, who are the top suppliers by category, go out and recruit and onboard those folks. And then we're, um, we're, we're continuing, I think we have about 50 or 60 supplier relationships that we're in some stage of evaluating. So our goal is to be a one-stop shop and um, we've made pretty good progress on that. Um, I think Paul mentioned we have, I think we onboarded about four suppliers, about 1.4, 1.5 million products available for purchase today. And that's growing every month. Awesome. Just 
just a couple more questions here. Um, are shipping locations maintained in Business Central or must we maintain shipping locations in two systems? Uh, actually, uh, I'll take that one, William. We, uh, we can, uh, we do keep all the shipping locations in BC and synchronize those uh, to Varus. If you have uh, small differences uh, that you want to make during the, uh, during the shipment, uh, then um, for the specific shipment, then you can make those small changes uh, individually, but all the, all the locations are maintained Business Central. Great. Thank you. And just one more, um, in order to order from your website, do I need to be a BC user? Yes, yes. you do. Yep, for, uh, for, for, for security and compliance reasons, um, right? You can't go to govaris.com and log in, log in with a set of credentials. It all comes through uh, through Business Central, and we use that for single sign-on into our platform. Any licensed BC user, team license, essentials, premium, any licensed BC user can shop. Okay. Just a just a couple more here. Um, isn't the intent here to have everything that the company would need other than their inventory? That, yeah. That's correct. Indirect spend is what we we specialize in. And then I have, you say it's under an hour, but that doesn't include setting up workflows inside BC for approvals, correct? Because those can be four hours to a couple of days if they're really complex. And Ken, of course, you're the, you're the expert in BC. So yeah, the, the workflows are, um, are something that your, your VAR would want to help you uh, set up. Yeah, so right. I, I think that the main point here is if you, ha if as a customer, you already have that, we plug into that engine. We're not innovating on top of it. We're leveraging all of that. Of course, if those don't exist, those do have to be created. But you can still purchase, right? I mean, I think if there's nothing in there and you purchase, it would, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna either be auto approved or go to somebody. But yeah, if you don't have workflows set up, that's not going to magically happen by deploying our our, our application. Great. Well, those are all the questions we have for today. So thank you everyone for coming along. And if you think of any more questions after this webinar, feel free to reach out and we'll get those answered for you. But thank you so much.